everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Vanna Renee Graham and welcome if this is your first time here and welcome if you are coming back hi um today I'm going to be reviewing some new products that are out on the market and some old products that I'm just now getting my hands on I'm going to be um, reviewing the Juvia's Place foundation as well as the concealers as well as this bomb palette from the crayon case which is called the matte book I use this palette to create this bomb eye look I'm obsessed um, yeah, I'm also going to leave in the description box on where you can find these products. If you haven't gotten them, you should really go check her stuff out. Her name is Super Scent. I love her. Um, I love her products. You know, I'm just obsessed. Um, you should definitely go check out her products and go grab you a matte book. So that's pretty much it. Also, my uploading schedule is changing. I cannot do five days a week. It's just entirely too hard for me. So I will be uploading Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and maybe every other Sunday of each week. So yeah, that's pretty much the only update that I have for my channel. And yeah, without further ado, um, if you want to see how I created this bomb look, then let's get into it. So I already applied my primer. I know it's starting to oxidize. I'm starting to look a little white. And the primer that I'm using is the Becca Evermite. Evermite? <laughs> the Becca Evermatte and Poreless Primer. I am obsessed with this primer. I've tried so many different things, but this seems to be the only thing that works for me that actually keeps my makeup matte and staying all day. So for foundations, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place. Now, I don't know if I should use like a sponge or I, I don't know. I've seen a lot of reviews. Um, I've seen a few reviews on this foundation. So I don't know if I should use a sponge or if I should use a brush. So I think I'm just going to do what I normally do, which is apply a little bit of foundation on the back of my hand. And I am in the shade Garbon. Gabon. I am in the shade Gabon. Um, and let's see. So I'm just taking a damp Sonia Cassius sponge. And I'm just going to take this. Ooh, this is thick. And just see. Oh, wow. You get a lot of coverage. Um, with this foundation. So you really just need a little bit. I, um, I literally kind of color match myself off this other YouTuber named Mercy. I follow her on Instagram as well. And she did an awesome review on this product. Okay, so I also picked up their concealer. And this is what it looks like. Um, I got the shade, well, I got the number 12. I'm hoping this will work for me. Okay, so to blend out my concealer, I'm going to be using this Morphe E8 brush. And I'm also going to be using my damp um, sponge by Sonia Cashet. Um, you can get those sponges from like Target. I believe you can get them for like two, two for ten. Um, they pretty much, they work, they're soft. So then when I'm blending out my concealer, what I like to do is take the tip of the sponge and I go between the tip of the sponge and the pretty much the butt of the sponge because the butt of the sponge has my foundation on it and that kind of like helps not have any harsh lines. And I just go back. This is like really full coverage. I don't think I needed this much concealer. Um, every time I blend out my concealer, I try to, whatever I do to one side of my face, I definitely ensure that I do it on the other side of my face so everything can look symmetrical. 
So to pretty much um, set everything, I didn't end up going, um, I didn't end up purchasing another concealer so that I can contour with it. So I'm just going to use like a regular um, powder bronzer. So I'm going to go in, but before I do that, I'm going to go in and set my concealer. I'm going to set it with the Sasha Buttercup Banana. Um, I always use this powder. I really want to try using different powder. I recently just watched Glam Girl Chelsea's video. And if you don't know who that is, I'm going to leave her channel down listed down below. But she's also a YouTuber. She's also an Instagrammer. She's just an all-around good person. I like talking to her. She's pretty cool. Um, she was telling she mentioned that she used the um Dang, I forgot what powder I just went out of my head. She said that she used like the, the Hourglass Mineral Veil Powder. Now, I'm seeing a lot of people like mention the powder, but everybody I've seen hasn't been like a person of color. So, I just recently watched her video and she used it and it looked like her skin just looked like it set really nicely. So, I definitely think I'm going to be trying that powder. Or again, what I'm going to do is take my damp sponge. And I pretty much just tap, I take this much of the product and then I tap the excess off on the inside of the lid to the powder. So that it doesn't go on all powdery or whatever. And then I'm just going to press it in. Um, yes, yeah, so I go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I just use that to set the perimeter of the face. Um, I used to use like... The little like um, buffer thing that came in, but it was just making me too matte. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the product on this um, wet and wild, wet and wild, <laughs> on this wet and wild brush, and I'm just gonna buff it across my face. Okay, so now that I'm done setting the rest of the face. Um, normally I hop on to brows, but I think the first thing I want to do is bronze up the face. And I'm going to be using my tried and true, my CoverGirl Queen collection. I'm so mad they discontinued this collection. I know they replaced it with the full spectrum collection, but still it's not the same. I'm going to be using this Real Techniques brush. I already primed my lids with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. Okay, so next I am torn between... Ooh, I am torn between either going to use the Nubian Coral Palette or the Matte Book by the Crayon Case. I think I want to do more of a vibrant look, so I think I'm going to use the matte look by the crayon case. And this is what it looks like. It's really cute packaging. Right. So this is what the palette looks like. And you get all these awesome colors. I think the first shade I'm going to dive into is going to be this dark purple shade. These colors are vibrant as heck. These colors are so vibrant. And I actually like how it's applying. I'm just packing it on. And then I'm going to go on top of that shade with this light pink shade. And I'm just going to kind of put that right on top of there. I'm just kind of blending that um, pink shade right on top of that purple shade to kind of get rid of that harsh line. And then I'm going to go back in with that same purple shade. And I'm not going to pack it. I'm going to kind of kill this fly that's flying around my room. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill you. And I'm just going to kind of just put that back in. But... 
use a little circular motion okay so now I'm going to cut my crease um I'm going to use the shade Fawn to cut my crease. I'm doing one eye on camera and I'll do the other one off of camera. Okay, so now that I've cut the crease, I think I want to go in with a lot of vibrant shadows. So the first shade I want to go in with is this really, really, really bright yellow shade. Okay, so my camera died. So the only thing I did was I applied this kind of yellow shade okay and the next shade I'm gonna go in with is this really um sorry is this really nice uh, I think I'm gonna do this really nice blue shade right here and now I'm gonna go back and forth with this yellow just to kind of blend out um, the harsh line that's in the middle but I'm going to take this dark uh, I mean this light pink shade right here and I'm gonna use that to pretty much diffuse that harsh line of the pink that's up there by my brow bone okay and I'm going to use the um, I'm going to use this brush right here, which is a Sigma E45 brush. And I'm going to go back in with that purple shade. And I'm just going to kind of go back in where that purple shade is and smooth it out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply some Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. So now that that mascara is drying, I'll do this other eye real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have finished this other eye, I also, pop, I also popped on some Midnight Lashes from the Kiss uh, Lush Couture line, which I like those lashes. So now for the lower lash, for the lower lash, I think I'm going to go in with that dark purple shade. So then I'm going to go back in with that dark purple shade, I mean that dark pink shade, and I'm just going to connect it all. Now for highlighter, I'm going to be using, I've been obsessed with this highlighter. I really want to stop using it all the time, but I have been like just obsessed with it. It's the Maybelline Chrome Face Highlighter in Malted Gold. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with another highlighter, which is, I really want to get another highlighter from the crayon case. Like, after using her stuff, I'm over here like, I wonder what else can I buy from her. Um, I'm going to be using the Ofra highlighter, and I'm obsessed with this. It's the Nikki Tutorials collab. It is the Blind the Haters highlighter. And this is what it looks like. Okay, for lips, I have one crayon case lip product, which I want to get the rest of her stuff, but it just seems like her lip products are like always sold out. Um, I have the shade Raven. Which is like this pretty dark purple shade. Okay, guys, sorry, my camera had died. Um, yeah, so pretty much I just added this lipstick from the Crayon Case in the shade Raven. And I just took a pink shade out of the palette and just dusted it on my lips to give it like an ombre effect. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know your favorite products down in the description box. If you're loving the new Ju Juvia's Place Foundation, if you haven't gotten it yet, just let me know what's going on with that. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you are notified every time that I upload a new video. And yeah, Everything, all the products I use, including everybody that was mentioned in this video, will also be listed down in the description box as well. So you can go check out their channel and show them some love. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.